Good morning, cuties. Uh, so, today is the first, check the door. Today is the first day of the official conference. Yesterday was a pre-day. And so today we are heading off. I'm gonna take the shuttle today to kind of save some money on parking. So we're heading downstairs, get a fresh, fresh coffee, and wait for the shuttle. I know I am. I'm very excited. But I will admit, I need coffee. Bingo, bingo. Goodbye. Thank you. So we got it. We are ready to go. And I found out the keynote is in S230. So that's where we're heading. Dun, 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 dun. People who have tracked us through generations of technology. We have people who administer clients, administer servers, administer cloud, developers building these applications, security professionals who really protect the digital estate of all of these organizations. And as the HoloLens is constantly aware of a spatial position, I can place a note in 3D space for review later. Review the angle with a Noah. With Microsoft Teams, the team is alerted to a note, and then they can see the exact same experience, the exact same 3D space that I was seeing when I captured the note. How does all look? Well, I, I have to say, I think that this is what Microsoft has done that's really unique in its approach to quantum computing, which is to, first of all, recognize that each one of these steps is actually very hard. It's, in fact, it may seem like making the chip with the Majoranas is the hard part, or thinking of the idea is the hard part, but actually they're all hard, and uh, everything. Well, I just want to say that my inner nerd just became so happy that was awesome the keynote seeing the ceo talk about initiatives that microsoft's really striving for they started out the keynote with um, um mixed reality which is mixing and i had heard some people at breda talking about this about a year ago but it's basically using tools to have reality, things that you would create and model right in front of you, but also using tools to kind of bridge that gap in the development process. Absolutely amazing. Holograms, it literally made me feel like I was in the future. And at the pace that technology is going, it's gonna be here before you know it. The other thing they touched on that I thought was really awesome was this idea of um, AI and using technology, big data, as we all know, these are big buzzwords that are kind of going around, but using that data to really hone in and model on trends uh, as to how things are flowing and really to make things better. 
they followed out the process with talking about Azure slightly and, and, and some of the cloud-based stuff, which we already know has been out on the market and continues to grow in popularity and possibly a bit more understanding. But they also kind of took my brain and went with quantum computing. Now, mind you, the physicists and all the people that they had speaking on it, I definitely was having a bit of trouble trying to understand what they were talking about, but all in all, they showed what this first chip and first kind of computer would look like, and it was amazing. It was so cool to kind of see and to think about in my, in my what I would say, peon brain, trying to even understand what they're talking about. It was amazing, and I really can't wait to see what is on the forefront with that, because once you start mixing all of those technologies together, we literally are going to be in a Star Trek slash Star Wars reality very soon. All in all, you can tell I'm really excited, but it is time for me to get some lunch before I go off to some of my other sessions for the day. Um, I'm looking to bring you along the whole step of the way. So let's go get some lunch. All right, so I just found out that lunch does not start until 12.30. I've got a session I've got to be at at around that time, so it's seeming like I might have to might have to skip lunch because the rest of my day up until five is going to be jam packed. I also got notification that my data is at 10%, only halfway through the month, and. They have tons of Wi-Fi, so that's not the issue, but I'm trying to find a Wi-Fi location where there aren't a lot of people, because I'm trying to upload a video right now, and it seems to do much better on speed when no one is around. So that's my mission now, to find a quiet little spot, drink my dew, and I guess chill until this next session. So I guess we'll see what we can do. Bingo. Found a hallway with almost no one in it. And Wi Fi. Right there. Right there. There's no one else really using it, which is awesome. So I'm going to sit here, I guess, for the next maybe hour, ugh, hour and a half, and charge my phone upload my yesterday's YouTube, pray and hope that I have time to eat lunch, and then we'll go from there. All right, now we are entering the expo where all our vendors are. This should be fun, and I think my session's also down here, so we're gonna kind of take a walk through and then head off to the session in about 30 minutes, so that should give me some time to kind of walk around. Time for food. So I heard food is in this direction, so we are going to eat before this first session. Oh yeah, let's do this. Alright, so I found myself a really crazy spot in one of these chairs. It looks like all they have left at this point is some ham. It might be a brownie, some fruit. I think that's some couscous. All in all, it's free, it looks good, it looks healthy in this cozy chair. I'm stoked, man. I'm actually kind of glad that I got lunch because I was a little nervous about that. So I'm gonna dig in um, and then um, explore after that once I'm done eating. So, wow, this is intense. I am really interested in seeing the hollow lens just to see what this thing is like.
so she just measured my pupils for this hollow lens contraption. I am at 57.5. I don't really know what that means, but when we get up there, I imagine it has to do with how it works, so. Figurating. Sequence will do to resolve that issue. So I guess look towards the motor and air cap. And then that should show the, the motor coming out and exploding. Yep. Well, not exploding, but uh, yeah, it's moving like the, yes. Okay, yep. yep. So instead of, you know, leafing through our service manual to, you know, find the correct steps for the right. issue, Whoa. we can play it right on top of it. Yes. Yep. Like a uh, hydraulic pump. There's, it's a really heavy device, there's lots of different configurations. So if I'm the sales rep for this, instead of walking through all those different configurations on a physical device and bringing all those devices, we can do that using mixed reality. Right. So if you look at the device in AirTap, we'll walk through different configurations and different uh, heating panels and different uh, engines. Ah, uh, there we go. And so all these were built with Finger Studio, where you can build these experiences by dragging and dropping these different animations to the location that you want. Uh, you can bring in IoT data from Azure so that we can monitor the health of, say, a motor. Uh, yeah. Very cool. That's crazy. Isn't it? Yeah. Unfortunately, guys, I can't show you what I'm seeing, but it's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's the hard part. Yeah. All right, that was probably like the coolest thing I've ever done before. I wish you guys could have seen what I saw because that was unreal. Well, it was real, but it wasn't real. Unbelievable, totally cool. And I can't wait for that to start hitting the market in just any way possible. All right, so I'm starting to lose a little bit of steam from all the hoopla. Ended up getting some more coffee. I've got maybe one or two more sessions. Definitely getting hungry, tuckered out, little intimidated, uh, but I'm still here. Still excited. I think the rest of the week it's going to be a little bit more at my pace. So we're just going to finish this day out. Hopefully get what I'm looking for when it comes to some of the uh, courses that are left for the day and then I think I'm just gonna play it real timid tonight maybe go get something to eat when I get back to the room and that is probably gonna be about it so got one more course I think and then we will go get something to eat. computers of the future. Yes, that is what quantum computing is starting with. Sorry. Really? What is the All right, one, two, three, four. Did you raise your hand or did you scratch your mustache? All right, one more. Five? All right, five. Five of you guys come over here, please. I need five more. Five more. Five more. What I want you to do is start in five minutes. I want you guys to build what you see on the screen. Go. Welcome to you. And don't worry, this is going to take the whole 20 minutes. I'm going to cut it off pretty soon. All right, you guys have had one minute so far. One minute so far. I'm going to give you guys three more minutes. Three more minutes. Okay, we really got curious. some duct tape in the back, right? Like. Alright, we're at 3 minutes and 20 seconds. You guys have 40 seconds. I'm interested to see how this activity yep. plays out. What's going on? You guys don't even need it. 2, 1. Alright, hands up, hands up! This is Hell's Kitchen, put your hands up or they get chopped off. Wow! Alright, can you guys park the, the Red Sea here? Team 1, let's give Team 1 a round of applause. Uh, this is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, I, I don't even. I, this is. This looks pretty cool. Now, oh, what do we have? Oh my goodness! Team, team two. Let's give them a round of applause. Yay! The heart 
part is, how many of you have been asked by one of your managers uh, to do something that you didn't know how to do? Right? Everyone, right? I mean, if you think about maybe 10, 15 years ago, we were all just doing things over and over again that everyone else had done. And now your manager may hire you and say, well, what, what's your name? Amber. Amber, I want you to do some, I want you to do blah, blah, blah. And you say, hey, how do I do it? And he goes, that's why I hired you, Amber, you need to go figure it out, right? Um, from the volunteers, how do you fear kind of doing all this stuff while everyone's watching you? Oh, some people didn't bother. Some people maybe made them feel a little bit nervous, right? How does it feel when you go to work and, you know, hey, Amber, you are going to launch our CRM platform. The CEO is really counting on you. Like, I hope you can get it done. And you're like, oh, okay, that's great. You know, hey, you want that promotion. you got to make this work. I mean, there's a lot of pressure to get these incredibly complex things done in very small amounts of time with no reference, with no instructions, with these really clunky pieces to work with, and celebrate All right, so that session was awesome. It kind of reeled it back for me. I'm glad that I stuck around for that one. Saw it. Um, it was one of those things. Ooh. So, uh, that would be really funny. I really liked what he had to say um, because he, he kind of reeled it back and made it feel a little bit more manageable um, from where it was, which was starting to feel a little intimidating. Yeah, it must be food time. Oh, there's way too much going on. I think I'm going to try and get the bus out of here. Oh, man. What? All right, somehow I just walked into the food stuff. Yep, that's right, I just kind of got it. But back to what I was saying. So that was a great session to kind of reel it back. Today, I will admit I did feel a little intimidated with some of the engagements that I had um, around infrastructure as a service with some of the vendors. Um, that's okay. I just don't think I was on my game with, with the dialogue that I was trying to have with them or maybe they were anticipating me asking different questions. But nonetheless, um, hearing how he explained the building blocks and breaking it down and not thinking of it the same actually really inspired me again. So with that being said, I cannot wait for tomorrow um, to see some of the content that will be coming our way. Hopefully it's more sessions just like that one. So, here's the hoping. Na, 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 na. Mm, come here. Heading home. All right. dinner time and I went with the chicken tiki and it actually looks really good. Hoping this fills my belly, lifts my spirits a little because I'm a bit exhausted as you can tell but look at this food. Oh my god it's so good. Oh. All right so it's a wrap. I think I've got all the energy that I can for right now. I'm pretty pretty tired so I'm gonna call it an evening it's only 7:45, but that's okay I want to be fresh for tomorrow so with that I'm going to say good night